anti-Trump resistance groups have been exposed spreading North Korean propaganda. From the Daily Caller Two of the nation's most active anti-Trump resistance organizations are taking decidedly pro-North Korea stances in the United States developing nuclear standoff with the communist country, whose leader, Kim Jong-un, has repeatedly threatened to launch a nuclear strike against America. One group is Refuse Fascism, a well-funded resistance group created for the express purpose of opposing President Trump's administration. Internal presentations from a refuse fascism conference last month said the group intends to make America's leaders lose international legitimacy as a way of ultimately bringing down the Trump presidency, as the D.C. first reported. The other group is Workers' World Party, a Marxist organization that has played a leading role in anti-Trump demonstrations across the country. Both groups have consistently echoed North Korean talking points that demonize America while excusing UN's genocidal regime and both groups have instructed their followers to distrust American media reporting that reflects negatively on North Korean leaders' oppression of their own people. After the United Nations Security Council unanimously voted on August 5 to impose further sanctions on North Korea, both refuse fascism and workers' world defended the North Korean regime as the victim of international imperialists. Workers' World's magazine published an editorial titled Korea Won't Be Intimidated. The editorial claimed America and not the North Korean regime, is the country standing in the way of peace. The last nine paragraphs of the editorial were direct quotes from North Korea's government. Five days later, the magazine published another editorial titled Self-Defense and the DPRK that portrayed the U.S. as the oppressor of North Korea. Three days after the U.N. voted on the new sanctions, refuse fascism, whose financial backers include left-wing financier George Soros, published an outraged statement that framed the U.S.-North Korea's standoff as the largest military power in the world bullying a small, isolated country and terrorizing the people of that entire region. In July, refuse fascism issued a statement accusing the U.S. of using a playbook of demonization against Kim Jong-un. The statement urged Americans to put aside their countries and act in the interests of humanity instead. Stop thinking like an American, the statement said. Start thinking about humanity. Both Refuse Fascism and Workers' World have railed against the media's coverage of North Korea. Refuse Fascism's statement last month urged against believing American media's lies and distortion that portray North Korea, one of the worst human rights oppressors in the world, in a negative light.